Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's new gear day. Haha, <laughs> Rode Wireless mic, Purple Panda Lavalier mic. And in today's video, I'm gonna unbox both, show you what comes with them, set them up, test them, show you my results. And along the way, I'm gonna tell you why, so stick around. All right, here we go. And if you're new here, I'm John. This is obviously Road Reality, and around here we do some motor vlogs, some gear tests, some how-tos and tutorials. So go peruse the channel, see if there's anything else that strikes your fancy. If you enjoy this video, boop the like button, okay? All right, let's dig in to the Rode Wireless Mic box. And this is probably the backwards way to open it, but we're gonna go ahead and peel off the bottom. There's probably an easier way to do it, but uh, I don't really know. I should've got my knife out and just cut it open. There we go. So now the box is open inside. Ooh, we got lots of goodies. All right, instruction manuals, two furry dead cats, a cord, a desiccant, do not eat. This is important advice. Don't eat the desiccant, it's bad for you. We have a carrying pouch, Velcro enclosure, very nice. All right, in this little slot, we have a USB-A, to USB-C cord. I assume this is for charging. Over here, we have another one. Looks like my 10 port USB hub is gonna be extra full. Um, good thing I got that. I did a review video on it. I'll leave a card up here, I think. We found one half of the device. I believe this is the receiver. And the other half is going to be the transmitter. There we go. You can tell it's the transmitter because it's got the microphone it, uh, emblem there, but it also has a built-in microphone. So we'll go ahead and peel the protective plastic off. Ooh, nice, I like it. And you can tell, I don't know if you can see this on camera. Maybe you can see it better on this camera. Yeah, see the scratches and stuff? So this, pla this protective plastic worked really well. It's got a little flappy here with the number 10 on it. Oh, quality assurance, person number 10, thank you very much. The uh, The reason I got this is because the reviews were much better on the road than some of the other brands that I saw, even if they were $40 cheaper. And honestly, with the way I use things, 40 bucks is money well spent to get a better product. And I'll leave a product link in the description below. It's an Amazon affiliate account, and it helps the channel out a little bit if you buy your wireless mic through there. So, you know, if you do, thank you very much. Anyway. We've got the mic and the receiver. While we're at it, let's unbox the Purple Panda. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this one. They make a great mic and it's actually cheaper now than it was before. And I'll, again, I'll leave a product link in the description below, but it was, uh, it was $30 this time instead of 40. And these mics are really good for the money. We'll set that aside and then open it up. User guide and support. Don't need that, yada yada, thank you, thank you. All right, now, they, it's nice, they come in a box with this foam padding. These are nice boxes. And people of a certain age are gonna go, yeah, that's a nice box. When you're middle-aged like me, a good box is just a good box. Still ends up on the floor. Opening the pouch, you can see it's got the Purple Panda logo. You've seen that on the channel before. Inside, more bubble wrap. This is the important part with a Purple Panda microphone. This two ring adapter uh, allows you to convert from the long version, which has three black rings. If you can't see it on that camera, you can see it on this one. See the three rings? And then on this one, you have two rings. So the uh, GoPro only likes the two rings, so you need that. And then they've got a, a different kind of adapter. We don't need that on a GoPro though. And it comes with a long nine foot cable. And then actually, Da, 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 the microphone itself. And you can see on this one, you can see here, the microphone itself has the three rings on the plug. This one has the foamy installed, and then it comes with a furry dead cat, which is probably what I'll use. I get pretty good wind cancellation from that. That is unboxing them. Now we need to get the road charged and set up. So, poof, or something. Got it turned on and Let's go over the features on it. So you can see here, I've got a, a link and power button, microphone and microphone input. So that's where I'll plug in my lav mic. On the bottom, it's got a power button. We'll hold that on for a few seconds to turn on. On the side, you've got a USB port. So that's, uh, that's all the features on this. Plus there's a clip. 
so you can clip it to your belt or shirt. And then I've got this one on the Media Mod 8. This is the receiver. You can see there it's got an audio meter on it and some other indicators. Should be pretty clear to see there. Um, and it has a clip as well. On the bottom, we have the gain and link buttons. So you can link the units together. On the top is a power button, just like the transmitter. On the side, you've got audio out and USB. And we're gonna use the audio out because it came with this cable. This one right here will run out of this unit into the media mod, thus using the external microphone. If you have two riders riding close together, like I'm gonna have with my wife, who doesn't want a camera on her helmet, I can mic her up, clip something on her shirt or jacket, run it up into her uh, helmet, give her audio, and then I can put a camera on her bike and she's good to go, and then I can just sync it up in uh, DaVinci Resolve later. So that's pretty awesome. So with the setup of the Rode wireless mic out of the way, time to do some testing. First things first, plug into the output on the Rode receiver, plug that into the Hero 8. Now that it's plugged in, I actually changed it over to the side cold shoe so that I can mount this bad boy on top. This is the front facing screen mod that GoPro sells for the Hero 8. And now I'm looking at myself, looking at myself. So now we need to test this thing. So what are we gonna do to test it? Aha, I have an idea. So now we're outside and I've got this unit in my hand. So I should be picking up audio from it and I'm gonna sound really loud and I'm gonna sound kind of quiet. I think that's how that works. So how does this sound? Does it sound pretty good? Hopefully it sounds good. But here's one of the problems that you run into when you're using the onboard microphone from a GoPro, especially a media mod, is that if you change the angle or you're not facing it, then the audio doesn't sound as good, does it? And that's another problem. If I stand right here, you can probably hear me pretty good. But if I'm over here, I'm really quiet. And that's where this comes in handy. So now I've got my transmitter and I've got the Purple Panda plugged right into it. So now I can stand way over here and you can hear me just fine. Peekaboo, still good. Way over here, just fine. Peekaboo. And that's one of the benefits of why I got this setup is I can walk around my bike or walk around you know, a public place and just record. And I don't have to worry about which way the camera is facing compared to me. The audio is always gonna sound the same. So let's go back inside and wrap this up. So we're back inside. That was a quick unboxing setup and test. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to boop the like button and leave me a subscription. Your old buddy John really appreciates it. And again, the product links will be in the description below if you want to check them out. I bought this on Amazon. I think it was uh, $184, but I did buy my own equipment. Nobody sent this stuff to me for free. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Till I see you in the next video, or rather, until you see me in the next video, have a great day.